Hi guys, it's Rihanna the Math Person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 131 on the SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, as soon as you're attempted it, let's just dive right in. So they tell you that N1 is equal to April and N2 is equal to May. And then they ask you, calculate the expected number of claims that will be submitted to the company in May. So that's N2. Given that exactly two claims were filed in April. X times the probability of N2 given N1. So I'm going to work on the probability of N2 given NY first. This by the conditional probability of joint distribution formula. We know this is equal to the F of N2 N1 divided by the F of n1 the, the marginal distribution of n1 okay so let's work on the marginal distribution first and we also know that f of n1 n1 must be equal to 2 so we can actually go ahead and plug in 2 for all these n1s here n1s and ones so you're going to get 3 fourth 1 fourth and 1 2 minus 1 that's just 1 e to the negative 2 1 minus e to the negative 2 and two, we don't know, minus one. Okay, and we know this is actually discrete, so we can't use integral here. We have to use the little sum sign, summing up from n one is equal to one to infinity, I'm guessing. So then this actually follows the infinite geometric sum series. So then we know by the definition of that, n one, letting n one is equal to one, and letting a one be the initial times the rate times n minus one. This is the sum by the definition goes a1 divided by the 1 minus the rate. So knowing that, we can actually figure out what a1 in our case is. Uh, when n1 is equal to 1, you get 3 fourth times 1 fourth e to the negative 2. And um, when you plug in 1 here, you, this whole thing becomes 0. I mean, and anything to the 0 power is just 1, so this is going to be the initial a1. And this is equal to 3 16th e to the negative 1, negative 2. And our rate here will be the things inside the n minus 1. In our case, it will be n2 minus 1. So it's this thing right here. That is going to be our rate. 1 minus e to the negative 2. So plugging into our formula here is going to be 3 over 16 e to the negative 2 times 1 over 1 minus 1 minus e to the negative 2. Distributing that negative sign, you get 3 over 16 e to the negative 2 divided by 1 minus 1 plus e to the negative 2. So this becomes 0, e to the negative 2 cancels out, so you're actually just left with 3 over 16. Plugging that back in to the denominator here, you're going to get 3 over 16, and it's going to be f of n2, and n1 is equal to 2. Alright, so we know when n1 is equal to 2, we get this function here, so that's going to be... 3, 16, 3 over 16, e to the negative 2, 1 minus e to the negative 2 to the n2 minus 1, divided by 3 over 16. So then the 3 over 16s cancel out, and you're left with e to the negative 2, 1 minus e to the negative 2, n2 minus 1. And we recognize that this is a geometric distribution. As you may recall, our geometric distribution function our probability distribution function for geometric looks like this p of x k is equal to 1 minus p to the k minus 1 times p and for our geometric distribution our x is going to be 1 over p so knowing this our function is exactly follows this rule right like 1 minus e to the negative 2 and 2 minus 1 times e to the negative 2 so in our question p takes the value of e to the negative 2 so then expectation of this, then it would just be equal to 1 over e to the negative 2, which is just equal to e to the 2. Our answer, e. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share.